our world. Land covers a third of planet Earth, and water and ice cover the rest. We divide the land into seven main chunks called continents. The sea is divided into five major areas called oceans. Inside the Earth The core of the Earth is made of metal, solid in the middle and molten all around it. We live on a thin, solid crust, a bit like the crust of a pie. Where people live This picture of Earth at night was taken by a satellite in space. The bright bits are made by lights on the surface. They show where the world's big cities and towns are. Seven continents North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, and Antarctica are Earth's continents. Sometimes people call Europe and Asia one continent, Eurasia. Can you find the smallest continent? The continent of Australia is also the world's biggest island. Can you find the most crowded continent? About 3,500 million people live in Asia. Can you find the biggest ocean? The Pacific Ocean is as big as all other oceans put together. The Arctic At the top of the world is the North Pole, and around this is an area called the Arctic. The Arctic is mostly ocean. In its center is a gigantic lump of floating ice that never completely melts. Further out are the northern tips of the continents and the huge island of Greenland. Arctic people Arctic people live in the icy lands around the Arctic Ocean. The weather is too cold for growing crops, so Arctic people get all their food from animals. They survive by fishing, herding reindeer, and hunting seals and whales. What is an Arctic tern? Arctic tern is a small, slender gray and white bird with angular wings. The Arctic tern is well known for its long yearly migration. It travels from its Arctic breeding grounds to Antarctica where it enjoys the Antarctic summer, covering around 25,000 miles. Breeding birds sport a full black cap, short red legs, and a red bill. Arctic terns are social birds, foraging in groups and nesting on the ground in colonies. They often rest on ice and fly on graceful and buoyant wings. The Arctic tern catches small fish and shrimps by swooping across the surface of the sea. The Arctic tern spends most of its life flying. It breeds in the Arctic during the northern summer. Then it flies all the way to the Antarctic, where it stays during the southern summer. To keep warm Arctic animals have to endure bitterly cold weather. Walruses have a layer of blubber which is a fat to keep them warm. Polar bears and reindeer have thick coats of fur. Canada and Alaska Canada is the second largest country in the world, and Alaska is the largest of all the U.S. states. Despite their huge size, both places have small populations because much of the land is covered in thick forest or frozen for most of the year. The Trans-Alaskan Pipeline The USA's largest oil drilling area is in Alaska. A huge overground pipeline, 1,287 kilometers around 800 miles long, carries the oil from Prada Bay to the port of Valdez. Let's us look on the industries. Here are some of the main industries in the region. Timber. Timber from trees is used as building material. Oil. Oil is used to make fuels like petrol, and chemicals such as plastics. Wheat. Wheat is grown in the center of Canada on prairies. Metals. Metals such as zinc, aluminium, gold, and silver. Next we will look into the, the United States of America. United States of America is an enormous country made up of 50 states. There are mountains, deserts, forests wetlands, and vast plains in the USA. One of the USA's 50 states is a group of eight volcanic islands in the Pacific Ocean. This state is called Hawaii. Mount Kilauea, on the main island of Hawaii, 
is the world's most active volcano. This map shows 48 of the 50 states of the USA. The other two states are thousands of kilometers away. Alaska is northwest of Canada, and Hawaii is in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Mexico and Central America Mexico and Central America form a natural bridge linking the USA to South America. The north of Mexico is dry and dusty. As you travel south, the weather gets rainier and the land becomes greener, with lush rainforests covering mountains and volcanoes. Did you know that coffee beans and bananas are Costa Rica's most important crops? Did you know that chocolate was first made in Mexico, from the seeds of the cacao tree? Did you know that sugar cane from Central America and the Caribbean is used to make sugar? To the east of Central America is a chain of tropical islands called the West Indies. The weather here is warm all year, but hurricanes can strike in summer. The man-made Panama Canal links the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. About 12,000 ships pass through it every year, making it one of the world's busiest waterways. South America has a vast chain of mountains runs the length of this continent. On its western side is the world's driest desert. On the east is the biggest rainforest. Next is the equator walkabout. The equator is an imaginary line around the Earth's middle. It would take you a month to walk across just the South American part of it. The southern tip of South America is called Cape Horn. The seas around it are so stormy that hundreds of ships have been shipwrecked there. Can you find the world's highest capital? La Paz, Bolivia, is 3,632 meters, 11,916 feet, above sea level. Can you find the world's highest waterfall? Angel Falls in Venezuela measures 979 meters, 3,212 feet, from top to bottom. Can you find the world's driest town? Arica in Chile's Atacama Desert has an annual rainfall of zero. Africa is a vast, sun-baked continent, famous for its amazing wildlife. In the north and south are hot deserts. Between the deserts are swampy rainforests and grasslands full of wild animals. Suez Canal this canal is a man-made waterway that runs from the Red Sea to the Mediterranean. It provides a shortcut for ships traveling from Europe to Asia. Madagascar The island of Madagascar is home to tree-dwelling animals called lemurs. They have faces like cats but bodies like monkeys. Savannah Wildlife much of Africa is covered by a type of grassland called savanna. Huge herds of grazing animals live on the savanna, as well as lions, hyenas, and cheetahs. Can you find the highest point in Africa? Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania is 5,895 meters, 19,341 feet, tall. Can you find one of the world's highest sand dunes? Ergtifernein in the Sahara is 400 meters, 1,300 feet, tall. Can you find the hottest place on Earth? Alazizia, in Libya, has had temperatures of 58 degrees Celsius, 136.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Take a wild guess how long is Africa from the north to south? It's about 8,000 kilometers, 5,000 miles.